Hey guys, uh, I just want to show you my newest creation. Uh, first off, I will give credit to Experimental Airlines for getting me started with this. Uh, he, I followed his instructions on how to make the frame here in the centerpiece, but um, took some of his ideas and made them my own, and um, hoping that it'll work in the best for me. And you can make this for under a hundred bucks. Uh, you start with a piece of uh, Dollar Tree foam board. Don't get it anywhere else because they're going to overcharge you. Office Max, it's six bucks, and it's a dollar at Dollar Tree. So that is definitely the place to get this, and you, I mean, it's surprisingly strong. And cover it in packing tape. You can certainly use clear packing tape, but when you're flying, that's going to be a little bit disorienting. But you can always mark the bottom with something just so you know, because with this going so fast, you will you'll have some trouble seeing it. So... Uh, what I would recommend doing is going to Tape Brothers, that's the cheapest place as of right now, buying some packing tape, uh, you can get 330 yards of it for 5 bucks a roll, and it's expensive for the tape, but it will last you, because I didn't even, I barely used any and was able to cover the front, top, the sides, and the bottom, uh, I used white right there, it gives it a little bit of shine, so I'll know, um, and I did blue and white for Air Force, and... You can, I would recommend if you really are just going based purely on being able to notice it, put some neon orange on the bottom or any neon color because uh, that will certainly help you to see it ten times better when it's going that fast. Uh, so that's, that brings the price up to $2 because I used all of it and then I had to cut up a two-inch little sliver right here because it's flat in the front there off of another piece. And then I'll give the link to the website I bought all this off of, the motor and everything. You can certainly use anything you want. I went with a 3400 kV Exceed RC rocket motor with a 40 amp a Dynam RC uh, ESC. The motor was $13. The ESC was $13. The 11 gram Dynam RC Metal Gear servos were $3 a piece. The blue LiPo 7.4 volt 1500 mAh hour 20C was only $7. Um, and then Velcro, I got a roll of 60. That was 60 inches for $10. It came with both the soft and the hard Velcro. Uh, so that's all you need. And you may even have that just laying around your house. You can even use tape, but Velcro is going to last longer. And it's a lot stronger because you you really want the lightest plane possible with the most power, but still the strongest possible hold. Um, I also got Scotch heavy duty uh, mounting tape interior and exterior. I got that at Office Max. Same with the Velcro, and the heavy duty uh, mounting tape was five dollars. So and that it holds up to five pounds. It Costs five bucks and you get 60 inches of it. So, and then I just had a bunch of old credit cards and iTunes gift cards laying around. And what those do is when you're mount or gluing something that is going to be taking a ton of pressure, for example, the motor mount here, I made that myself out of just uh, very lightweight wood, but it's very strong. You can easily use aluminum, anything you want, steel. Although it will be heavier, you use real thin steel and that will be really strong. And the benefit of that is giving you room to move your ESC forward. And that way you can balance your components a lot better. Because I ran into the issue of trying to keep the battery right here. Uh, because the center of gravity is 7 inches back, give or take a few. So you can always fix if it's not just perfect. Um, you'd rather have a little bit nose heavy. And then just trim the elevators up. And I used a DX5E. That is more than good for this. And I'm not sure. Let me see if this will focus here. You can see right here it says mix. And that's for Elevons for those of you that don't know. And you can just whip, switch uh, the aileron elevator reversing just so in case you know it's not the right direction. And I made the control horns out of a credit card. 
put these on the credit card and I hot glued those but I would recommend using the mounting tape because you can pry these off and it won't leave too much behind but the hot glue it's gonna stay on there and I made the push rods out of carbon fiber rod hot glued some piano wire here onto it and put heat shrink tubing around it which comes with the exceed RC motor and then your ESC so you'll have enough for that and you just shrink that on and it's very stable you can see there uh, this wobbles just a little but that's alright you know that's not gonna be too bad you can use ordinary 9 gram servos uh, but I would recommend getting some Metal Gear these were 11 gram uh, and it's just it's more reliable and I just I feel more comfortable using them. Another thing to keep in mind is you're going to need some extensions. So just take stuff off the list that you already have or can salvage from an old plane. Uh, 40 amp ESC, you can really use any ESC you want. It's just the Dynam is the che cheapest one and it's more than perfect for it. These come with little plugs here and one thing, el something else to keep in mind is you do need a good soldering iron. I got a 30 watt soldering iron and it comes with these little caps that you just put the solder in. Make sure you put the solder in first and then pull the soldering iron out and just dip the wire in. Just push it in really quickly. That holds it strong and it's not going to come undone. Um, I used a spectrum receiver. Those are about $30, but I'm not going to include that in the price because a lot of people will already have that from an old plane. And uh, you don't have to use Spectrum either. You can use anything you want. The motor mount just went on here. The You can see, I'm not sure if you can see the rod right there. It's going through the back. I, I used a Dremel to drill that out so that this will spin fine. Uh, I also had hot glued this to begin with, but I would highly recommend using epoxy. It takes a little bit longer to make, but... The epoxy is not going to come undone, whereas though the hot glue can melt. So I put coated this in some epoxy once I finished, so that way it'll stay strong and will not come undone because you don't want that coming undone. Um, I also have a 70 amp ESC with a 11.1 volt uh, Skylipo battery, and that is 1300 milliamps, 11.1 volts. With the with the 70 amps again, Dynam, but it's a twice it twice the weight as this ESC. That just I didn't like that as much, so I'm gonna try this out because it's just gonna spend a little bit less same size prop. Uh, the benefit of using the 70 amp, I would probably be able to use my 7.4 or 7 by 4 prop, which would certainly make up for the difference that I lose there. Um, I also, let's see, covering this in tape, just watch the video link in the description. He will show you how to make all of this, but, uh, just, there's a few loose ends that are a little bit unclear, but make sure you do it in the order that he says, otherwise this will not come out the way you want it to. This is very sturdy there, but this one I messed up just a little bit and it's a little bit not as sturdy but that is certainly okay this is smooth here just follow exactly what experimental airlines tells you to do for making the frame and then come over to my video and just check out all the information you need you can go with the lower kv but if you're looking for pure raw speed i would recommend this setup here i would say all in all this is only fifty dollars if you consider everything, <coughs> which is outstandingly good. I would certainly recommend anybody building this plane. It's fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be a blast to fly. And I can't I can't wait to get out there and fly. I'll make a video as soon as it comes out. Uh, and I have never flown a plane this fast. So odds are I may run it into something. So, if that happens, I'll let you guys see the aftermath of it, and I'll just make another one, because these are fun to build, they're quick, they're easy. So, yeah.
with all of this, but I'm just showing my plane and showing, uh, tying up any loose ends people may have about it. So, just post below, ask any questions you have, please rate and subscribe, and share this video. Thanks, bye.